Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So I'm back here at the witch farm platforms building the mega smelter and I just put some more fuel in to test the uh, the whole thing and it seems to be working okay. Let me do another test. Problem is last time one of the furnaces ended up shorted. Okay, so I've got a stack of 64 fuel. I pop it in there. Slows down in. Eight, 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 eight. Okay, I think it's working. <clears throat> One of the hoppers only had seven in it before. So I think that was a fluke. So I'm going to take all this stuff out and build up, start building up the next two sets. I've got a slight problem, and that is that the, I think I'm short a couple of things. Like a couple of droppers and a couple of hoppers. So we will have to do something about that. You're in my way again. You're really in the way. I'm gonna have to take you somewhere. Okay, let me build up. I really don't want to have to go back home to pick up like two droppers and two hoppers. So I think I have I have excess materials. I thought I did. What's in here? Let's have a look. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Um, I do have some spare supplies in my ender chest. So I may have to do it from there. All right, well, let me get started and then we will uh, I'll show you when I make progress. So I got some more droppers. I have more than I need, but you know, it doesn't hurt to have an extra or two. Hi, if I, if I ride you over there, will you stay out of the way? goodness so if you're any background noise I apologize it is it, it got surprisingly hot for the middle of April here in Los Angeles don't uh, don't understand what's going on it's it's uh, surprising and um, and annoying so the, the fan of my computer is periodically coming on and going crazy Let's get rid of these. So I need to build up so I can get back up to the top. And speaking of the heat, I hope it doesn't stay this hot for the next week. Um, the uh, MS walk, or walk MS, sorry, I always get that backwards. MS walk seems a little bit more appropriate or descriptive, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> they hold it in late April each year. Ow. Uh, which isn't optimal time to do so because it does start to get warm around this time of year. And Warm is not something that you really should be making a bunch of people with multiple sclerosis uh, put up with. It'd be nice if they did it a little bit earlier in the year. Uh, the San Diego walk happened last weekend, I think, and um, they're, they happen at different times, different areas, different regions, whatever you want to call it. Uh, <clears throat> so. And the walk starts at 10, which if it ow, if it starts to get hot, that's like when it starts to warm up. So that's uh, it's not great. 
Uh, and, and I say that because people with MS don't do particularly well in the heat. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, but heat can bring on uh, sort of fake symptoms. Or they think it might also be that the heat brings on uh, is the fatigue and sort of symptoms that can come with heat uh, is a separate uh, disease, separate, what is the word I'm thinking of? I'm blanking on words today. It is a separate uh, autoimmune disorder <clears throat> and they are, wait, do I want these here? No, I don't. Okay, well, we'll deal with that. Um, hoppers, I need hoppers. Is this enough hoppers? I hope I have enough hoppers. Eight, yeah, this should be enough. So, yeah, so when it gets, when it starts to get hot, I start, I don't, I don't do particularly well in the heat. It's, uh, it's not fun. I start feeling feeling poorly, tired, and uh, so the last the last week hasn't been much fun. But uh, and then do I have more hoppers? I hope I made enough hoppers. Oh, that would suck. I already went home to get to get droppers. Make more droppers. Uh oh. Huh. How many how many droppers am I short? How many hoppers am I short? I'm short six. How did I screw this up? Okay. So the the walk is next weekend. I have raised uh two thousand one hundred and thirty dollars through my fundraiser, which I will link in the description. Uh the fundraising year goes through September, so there's always time to uh, you can always donate at a later time if you felt so inclined and and I will be doing some stuff with it where's my horse I, I will be doing the walkathon idea there's my horse uh, I, I'm gonna put some torches up here because I don't want stuff spawning up here while I'm over on the other platform. Yeah. All right. Horsey was back here. So as I said, hopefully it's it's a little bit cooler next weekend than it has been the last several days. Um, darn it. All right, well, I have this box here that contains iron, right? And I need six hoppers is 30. So I need four blocks of iron. I'll have some extra. Put this away. Um, I don't even have a workbench out here. I have one pack over there, and I need chests, and I have chests over there. Oh, this is annoying. So I got my my walk materials uh, in the mail this weekend, uh, so I got a. Um, got a shirt, got a t-shirt, and got a, um, there we go, a t-shirt, a little race bib, like what runners wear for marathons, and it's got the, my number on it, my number is, I can't remember, 
187. So that's the I was the uh, top 400 fundraiser for last year, and I was in number 187. And I think that's nationwide, which is a little bit, which is a little bit crazy, that that would be the case. But I believe it's the case. And this year, I will be almost certainly higher than that. Uh, but I don't know what that will be until they get done with the end of the year, and I probably won't find out until next year anyway, because that's the way they do it. Um, and then. But right now, with my two thousand one hundred and thirty dollars, uh, I am in for the Los Angeles walk. I'm in like top thirty for individuals, and there are only like twenty teams. So, so I'm in. I'm well within the top fifty for for the Los Angeles region, which is probably you know a pretty large region in terms of participants, but. Uh, the, according to the shirt, there are 18,000 people walking, uh, participated last year. <clears throat> and and they raised $2 million. So if you take that, I was number 187 out of 18,000. That puts me in the top 2%. It's also pretty crazy that that would be the case but oh but I'm just I'm thrilled to death that I've been able to raise money to help out with the uh, help the National and Multiple Sclerosis Society because they provide support and uh, fund research into the disease with the hope that they can um, uh, obviously, the, the, the hope is to find a cure. Because as of the moment, there is no cure for MS. Uh, they do have drugs that are designed to control it to some extent. And they work, you know, reasonably uncertain whether or not they actually work. So that's a little frustrating. And a lot of the a lot of the therapies are actually repurposed uh, cancer treatments. So they're chemotherapies and designed to essentially calm down the the uh, immune system and or sort of turn off the immune system to some extent, uh, so that it basically doesn't go crazy and attack the body, which is kind of a brute force way of trying to deal with with a disease like this. Uh, and it has a tendency to uh, people who are on those sorts of therapies have a increased risk of catching other, um, uh, don't want to say diseases, but you know, they, they have a tendency to get sick, either actually get sick or, um, sort of have symptoms of being sick all the time which is no good no fun <clears throat> but uh, there are newer therapies that work in different ways and they think based on the limited research that's been done they think that they're doing something but they're not positive <laughs> So it's a little bit, it's a little bit frustrating that they don't have a better handle on the disease than that. But it's the way it is. So uh, the MS Society goes through and they fund research studies, and they uh, they help people living with MS. <clears throat> and uh, and all that good stuff so so it's a good it's a good organization and they are they also do some political advocacy uh, to help their members and and people living with MS uh, to help them 
sort of make sure that the laws sort of support people with disabilities in general, especially non physical disabilities or non visible disabilities. Uh, it can be it can be a little difficult. Uh, people make a lot of assumptions that if you aren't in a wheelchair, that you're you're not uh, you don't have don't have issues, don't have health issues, or you're not disabled per se. So anyway, <clears throat> it's not intending to get into a rant about all that. It wasn't much of a rant, I guess, but uh oh. Huh. With the slabs here, I can't... Ah, I can't place these. I'm standing too high up. I can't look up high enough. Darn it. Uh, that's no good. How are we going to fix this? I need the glass at the moment. Guess I have to wait to put on. There we go. Ah. Oh. Oops. Okay. Let me go take care of this. What happens if you smelt a torch? I keep finding things in that have fallen through the hoppers, uh, cobblestone fence, cobblestone wall, rail, and now torches. I'm gonna have to do some experimentation with that or look it up on the wiki, but uh, okay. So I think we're all done. So let's do let's do a trial run. I've got empty out my pockets here. No, 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 don't do that. All right. So we need a bunch of fuel. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got like eight eight uh, fuel entry points, if you want to call it that. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go load those up. Bloop. And I should have tested all these, so I think we're good on evenness. The one that I thought was went in, went in uneven, I don't think it actually did. It's kind of weird. But like we can look here. Eight, 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 eight. Okay, good. And then load up this side yeah over here now if I can figure out a way of running like a hopper chain over all these <clears throat> and feeding them with maybe like the stick output of the of the witch farm or something I don't know if that's sensible or uh, oops Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's smelt up a bunch of charcoal. So I slab the whole top up here. Boop. And so I can, nothing will spawn up here. I can walk up here without fear of falling in between things. And when the furnaces are on, they provide some light. That's kind of cool. And then, once I get these all in, we should find... Oh, you can hear them all crackling away. It should just be a constant stream of, of stuff. See, I didn't have to wait very long at all before I ended up with a full stack. So I'm getting multiple, multiple things in the output per tick. This is pretty good. So I've got 64 furnaces going. That means every 10 seconds I should be getting 64 uh, items out of the furnaces. 
and uh, so that should be something like six per second. So this is pretty good. And I could take these eight stacks and then redistribute it amongst more and go chop down more wood. And over time, I should be able to build up a good steady supply of fuel so that I don't have to worry about it. And then I can run just one of the sets or I can run all eight if I want. This is pretty cool. So there we go. Mega smelters done. Doesn't look super pretty. I could decorate the sides here a little bit more. Oh, they're finishing up. The furnaces are turning off. Yeah, see, it's... I'm, I'm waiting more on the hoppers than I am on the furnaces. Okay, so I won't be getting truly 64 items every 10 seconds, but... Pretty darn good. That's pretty exciting. So there we go. I could fill in the sides here. Maybe I'll decorate them. Um, I need to be able to read. I need to be able to see in here to get into the chest for the fuel. These here, it's nice to be able to see the furnaces. So maybe I'll do some glass and... What's going on there? Why are you still going? Uh-oh. Okay, so th this one didn't load evenly either. It started to burn in, so it must have loaded more wood into that furnace than the others. Huh. Okay, well that's that's a little annoying. But there may be some there may be some natural variability. For the most part, it seems to work very reliably, so. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. That's it. I think that was all I wanted to show. That's all I've done. That's all I've been doing lately is working on this thing, so. And, of course, you could build this much larger if you wanted. Um, I just, you know, I'm... I could probably fit in another, if I move this whole thing over this way, if I moved it over this way a few blocks, I could fit in another module, but I think this will be enough for now. Uh, you could also stack these vertically. Have to figure out the right way of doing that, but uh, so you could, you could fit this in. You could make a pretty massive smelter if you really wanted to. I mean, this is pretty massive in my mind, but should be enough for now. All right. Well, anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.